What's up, DigiDestins? This is Kyle D, better known as Rhyme Avatar, and today I am talking about a market watch because that bell rang in the beginning of the video, so that means we have to have to talk about the pre-release weekend and everything going on with it. So without further ado, let's dive in the video and talk about it. So first off, we have Minomon promo 149. So as I told you guys way back when, you shouldn't really invest heavily into this because of the price it was going to drop into. It was sitting at 12s. Now we're in almost half the price territory, which is good to see. That means I know this is used only in one real kind of deck right now, but eventually we will see it more functional later on. So yeah, let's see if this will actually become a better Digitama later on. Europe side though, looking like three euros, 80 cents to four euros. Not bad, could be a lot worse, but we will take this as a good price. Then we have Morphemon promo 112. Uh, looking at it now, $21. Yeah, I told you a while back, picked them up when they were 11s and hopefully you guys took my suggestion because I knew this was gonna start climbing. And to be honest with you though, I don't think this is gonna long-term hold. I mean, if Bandai has their re history kind of thing going on this will just get reprinted sh shortly after europe side looking like 23 to 25 to 30 euro range yeah you guys are quite expensive as well i don't think eos mons is going to be super competitive in the format a lot of its stuff will be dirt cheap but morphamon is quite expensive lobomon promo we are looking at a whopping ten dollars a pop and it's holding strong let's see where it's sitting at though it's been holding this ten dollar mark for a bit I mean, Ancient Guru does have a lot of potential coming into the format. It's a very powerful deck. We'll have to see long term what happens. Europe side, though, looking like three cents to 50 cents. Then we have Metal Groom on Alternate from Exceed Apocalypse, $40.89. Um, not terrible, but it's basically on buyout. And then you're at almost $30 a pop for just a regular art. Do I think this is going to hold long term? Probably not. It really has to depend on how well the Omnimon deck actually does competitively to actually justify these prices. Because if it doesn't do well long term, it's not going to hold. Europe side looking like 30 euros to 39 euros. Yeah, not looking good. My Otismon X promo 145. Oh, $5 a pop. I would still wait on this one. I wouldn't go rushing at it. This is definitely going to go down as we get into September. Europe side though, looking at it now, we're looking at 10 to 11 euros. We have plenty in the eight euro range though. Then we have Flame Dramon update pack, $44. All the $20 ones disappeared and under, that's no surprise. I, if I noticed this sooner, probably on Wednesday, I would have warned you guys to make sure you get your $20 copies because this is gonna be one of those other promos that immediately spikes because this is a card that goes into a very powerful tier one deck and yeah this is where it's going to be standing at for a while your side though looking like 24 to 26 euro range make sure you get your copies at this range you guys then we have mega kabu terry mount update pack 19 dollars. i would wait for release at this point i don't think it's going to go higher than 20 at the moment i think it's going to tank a little bit Pick up your two copies you need on release, and then if you need to get your playset afterwards, just pick it up slowly. I don't think long term this thing is going to hold 20 bucks. It's going to tank on release. That's when I think you should pick this up. On your side, though, 24 to 30 euro range, not worth it. V Dramon update pack, we're at $23. <sighs> 21 sold. I don't know about you. I don't know. Vigerman is a great card. Don't get me wrong. It helps all force, but is all force going to be super competitive? I don't think so. And that's going to be a deciding factor. But as you know, these promos, because of how scarce they are, they're not given out enough. It makes it harder. Your side looking like 17 to 20 euro range. Then you have Ludamon. If you guys have this, this is a flipper. Just make some money off of this. $5 a pop is nothing to scoff at. Edit it on common. Europe side looking like 40 cents, 45 cents, one euro. Then Pyil Dramon, beginning observer BT16, 22 to 20 
dollar range not bad then on the europe side looking like 10 to 14 to 15 euro range the aboramon pro inferno extension ex06 cooling off a little bit we're in the 11s we'll have to see what the aboramon does with especially with it it's got in the rest of its support i really want to see what it can do europe side looking like nine to ten euros Zubamon promo limited edition card version blah 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 $34 we know Zubamon is going to be expensive if you have Ragna go have fun with it the deck is pretty solid especially if you open the craze craze Europe side looking like 28 euros 30 euros and Dwolmon a succeed apocalypse BT 15 looking at it now 18s not bad could be a lot worse but we'll take this then we have on the Europe side looking like 20 euros, 21 euros. Yeah. Ancient Garumon, let's talk about this. Now this is where speculation price will stand. So I'm not saying we pick this up at $26. I really don't. I think at pre-release price, this is not worth the $26. If you told me you're picking them at, up at 16s, I would definitely agree. On release, this thing's going to come down to 16 range anyway, so pick it up then, and then watch it climb up from there. I don't see this thing tanking to like 12s or anything like that, but 16 is where it's going to go and then go up again. I don't think long term that it's a smart investment to pick up at 26 right now, unless you are really, really desperate of getting the product. Europe side looking like 15 to 16 euros. Yep, this is the price range where I would pick up, but outside of that no don't pick that up so paladin mode ace so i expect a little bit here there's a lot of speculation here if you can grab it for 16s i would do that i would not pay 21s right now on release it should reach 16 as well i think between this and the whatchamacallit the we just talked about it kyle stop being dumb figure this out brain work functionality we just talked about it what card am i talking about oh ancient gurumon wow my brain so ancient gurumon same thing i think these are both gonna get on release 16 dollars pick it up at that price anything more than that it's just not worth it your side 15 to 17 euro range omnimon ace bt17 i don't see this thing being a 21 dollar card i really don't even if you take a look at history's past, there's only a couple super rares that'll hold into the 20s, and Omnimon Ace is not it, boys and girls. I really like the deck, I like the concept, but at the end of the day, 21 is not where we're paying. I think we should go a little less than that. I think this thing is at least a $12 card, if not a little less than that on release. So just wait for release, I'm not paying 21. Europe side looking like eights to tens. Yep, this is where I, I would pay. If you can get it for eight euros, eight, like 10 bucks in retrospect, you're making a good deal here. I don't think anything higher than that is worth it. Crimson mode is 14. This is coming down though. Good to see it come down. I think this is going to be like a $6 card, if not less. Europe side, seven euro seven euros and 50 cents to eight euros definitely pick it up in the seven to six range definitely if you can make deals i think that's really where you want to be then you have dex daruga i'm going to be straight honest with you i think it's going to get undervalued and put at three dollars that is the time you should be picking this up eight dollars and 75 cents it's not worth it your side looking like eight euros to ten euros fenry luga Ta takamazuchi the secret here 35 dollars I would say pick it up at 25s. I would not pick it up at anything more than that at the moment because it's always a gamble on these things. And Takamazuchi is a three of, but for $35, I really don't think it's worth the investment. I think the secrets in the set are not as explosive or as power needed as before. Takamazuchi here or Takamazuchi is vital for the Fenry Luga deck and if you want to play a Pulsamon variant with it in it it's needed but unlike you know Magnamon or Magna X they they really make you have to think and play around them Takamazuchi 
does its thing once and then you if you can answer it immediately there's no protection skill on this thing so keeping that in mind that makes it a problem if you can instantly out it they're screwed it's just facts here so keeping that in mind it's just it's a very powerful digimon but it is nowhere near magna x or the rapidmon x secret level Europe side looking like 22s, 20s. Yeah, like I said, if you can pick these up into the $20 range, I think it's worth that investment. 35s now. Shine Greymon Burst Mode. This thing's going to be tanked. I would pick this up at fives, if not less. It's a one of. You do not need more. Europe side looking like five to six euros. Like I said, in that range, you're in a good spot. Armageddon, I expect this to be tanked. Uh, one of, maybe two of, and we're looking at $9 a pop. Europe side looking like five euros. Yeah, I would pick it up maybe at fives. If not, I would just wait it out until it's like a two dollar card. Ancient Greymon, twelve dollars. Not bad. I expect this to come down a little bit more. If you can snag this for like six to sevens, you're in a good spot. Europe side looking like six euros to eight euros. Exactly where I said I would pick this up at. Yeah, smart move here. Eosmon, this is going to be a dollar. Do not invest into it. Don't collect go. Don't 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 waste money. Uh, excuse me. I said Eos Mon. Okay. We're just gonna go this way. Here it is. Three to four euros. Just wait it out. This thing's gonna be a dollar in bulk. Greymon Secret, $27 and falling. Okay. I think if you can get this for 15s a pop, that's going to be your best bet. Anything more, I really don't see it. It is only used in one deck, maybe two. And to be honest with you, if it's mainly used in one deck, it's just not worth it. It never holds long-term value. It's not a waifu card. This thing isn't like Mirai or... You know, Rena. It is similar in that that you know need a playset kind of card, but they are not waifu taxed. So Europe side looking like twenty seven to thirty euros. I would pick this in fifteens. Really, I would not pick this up in the twenty six to thirties, unless the deck gets crazy. But I don't really think it will. But all in all, guys, that is the market watch. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And I'll catch you next one. Peace.